unless more monsters have spawned. Oh, Mr. Bum. Excuse me, Mr. Bum. Mr. Bum in here back. Doesn't look like it. That was the doorway. Well, let's find this key. I also got that patient's belongings key. I don't know where that leads to. I haven't found any doors that I thought needed it. Well, use your meat hook or whatever. Yeah, I should try and probably use that patient's belongings key. That's probably why I got it. Here. Patient belongings. There we go. There we go. Alright. Um East Solarium, that's where we need to go. Alright. There's probably gonna be some kind of grabber thingy in there. I tell you, that key in the drain is more trouble than it's worth. And it is gratifying to know that I was actually right when I thought to come down here. It's just that the game screwed me. With that whole toilet debacle. actually made any progress, so... I'm just gonna overwrite this. Thank you, camera. Oh, shit! Jeez. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Walk into a room. Jeez. Was that necessary? Okay, where do I need to go? Thank you. So glad we have the worst camera in the world. Alright. So, patient belongings. Let's see. What's in here now? Well, really. You use the patient belongings key. Maybe that's exactly why I came down here. You don't need to tell me every little thing that goes on, Travis. Heck yeah, I got some shotgun ammo. A status report on patient Mrs. Travis's mom. This is in 1961. And yeah, even it looks like even the dates are matching up. This is really, really obvious. All right. Age 35, examining doctor, Dr. Harris notes Mrs. Travis's mom's condition has degraded dramatically in the last few months. Her fantasies of a mirror world, yep, it's clearly his mom, have become more acute and she spends more and more time in apparent catatonic state. She claims that during this time she is in the other world. She now has full recollection of her attack on her son, Travis, but shows no remorse for the incident. Indeed, she seems proud, almost smug of her attempt, uh, 
thylicide. I am worried that this behavior could be a side effect of the increased doses of epilinium that the patient has been prescribed by me. So you're literally prescribing medicine that makes her worse. Good job. I have asked her for her dose to be halved and hope to see positive results shortly. Scarlet makes Dr. Kaufman look like a professional. He just yells at his patients. <laughs> Which is awesome. No, I didn't want to... Stupid mirrors! I'm trying to look around, and the only way to look anywhere in this stupid game is to mash the stupid X button. Ugh. Mirrors piss me off. There's gotta be something good around here somewhere. So I am supposed to... Come on. And by the way, who was the patient that brought in shotgun ammo with them? <laughs> Just wondering. And a... T and a typewriter. So if Travis is actually just standing there in a catatonic state, shouldn't I see him there, like, instead of walking around? I'm just saying. It's kind of confusing. around here of any interest. Alright. Well, I know what that looks like. Pick it up. I got a shotgun. Oh, yeah. Aw, uh -huh, baby. Let's check this thing out. Alright, first off, we're gonna reload it. That is not a shotgun. Oops! Like, are you seeing this? This is not a shotgun, friend. They screwed up the picture. What's it gonna be when I... It is still a shotgun. Oh, now it's back. That was a weird glitch. The shotgun only takes two cartridges at a time, but at close range, it's unstoppable. Heck yeah, it is. But you know what's even more unstoppable than a shotgun? Your fists. Alright, so what's gonna horribly maul me out here? I'm never going to be able to reach this door. I don't know, if you grow up big and strong, you might. Alright, I'd like the camera to switch around behind me, please. Oh, shit. You know, it just annoys me when the camera refuses to get behind you, because they're really, really... They know the enemy's AI sucks so hard. The only way that they'll ever, like, find out you're there is if you literally run into them. So they purposely made the camera so shitty that you will literally run into them trying to see where the hell you're going. It just kind of annoys me, is all. Well, it seems like something's blocking me from the lobby. I can't see what. And if I turn on my... I'm not turning on my light in here, I'll tell you that right now, because I'm going to get butt-fucked by every single one of these stupid things if I, as soon as I do that, so... <laughs> I may be dumb, but I'm not that dumb, you know what I mean? If 
floor just stops here. It's impossible to get to the door. The lock is broken. Well, at least I can go in here. At least I can get in here. Yes, can the camera move behind me, please? Man, I wish I could see shit. <laughs> Ah, fuck. Oh, there it is. Like, I literally could not see anything there. I'm sorry if my voice is getting fainter. It's because I'm leaning in way close. <laughs> Alright. Got some more shotgun ammo. Lock is broken. Alright, I think that's about it in there. I'm not going to examine it more fully right now. You know what would really, really uh, help me out right now? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a brightness setting! No. Screw you, right? I can't see anything. Like, it is literally so pitch black. Stinks of mildew. So do you. There's no save here in the re or uh, in the other world. Um. Hmm. Well, let's head up there into the storage area and see what we can find. My status is red. I should probably have one of these health drinks. There we go. Well, I don't think there are any monsters in here. Well, that's good. What about in here? Something's blocking it. Okay. In here. The lock's broken. Anything there? No. Okay. What about in here? Okay, get behind him! Oh, this is the most annoying camera in the galaxy. Not just in the world, in the galaxy. I can't see. Where am I? Why'd the music just stop? <laughs> this is the most confusing room ever. Okay, get around. Shotgun ammo. Useful, I guess. Oh, wonderful. Attending officer's report. 1950, er, 1959. Alright, so when I arrived at the Travis house, the ambulance was already at the scene. The neighbor, Mrs. Bryant, who first called in the incident, had restrained Mrs. Travis's mom, and the paramedics were tending to the child Travis, the husband Travis's dad, Mr. Travis's dad had not yet arrived back from his place of work. Oh, so he wasn't even there. All right. Thanks to Brian's intervention, the gas had been turned off and the house ventilated. However, there was still a strong smell and I deemed it necessary to call the fire department as a precaution. It appeared that Mrs. Travis's mom had attempted to gas herself and her child. When I spoke to the suspect, Mrs. Travis's mom she was uncooperative and seemed enraged. She demanded I release her so she could kill the devil child. She was clearly not in control of her mind. Mrs. Bryant commented that several times in the previous weeks he had heard... Mr. Bryant commented he had heard loud arguments and screams from the house. He said Helen had not been well for a while. Nothing useful. Oh! Glad I 
I got that. Is that all there is? Oh, that's pretty lame. But I did get a health drain to replace that one I had to use, so that's good. 